Hey guys, this is Chip Casual. Welcome to the Worthwhile yeah. special emergency episode just happening out of nowhere. Check this out. Yeah. It just don't make sense. So long. Troy Tynes. Yo. Check the strategy. I space walk the galaxy high like the canopy. A look inside, can you see? Colors of the token? Nah, just pollution. And rubbish from the humans, smothered like Truman. They flew in for a photo of the toucan, but they're rare. So now there's cameras everywhere. Yeah, the toucan isn't there. But I know where you'll find toucans, yeah. You'll find them in my jacks. I always leave my pad prepared. Gaps and stairs, they make me think of skating. I travel anywhere on the train, I think of painting. I really can't be happy in my life. And less creating So I don't really care about the grind of money making I have a breath, take it in I think I would have said then and you're a well, well, special guest in the place to be Tains. It's Retainer Tains, how are you bro? Thanks for being with us here Short notice, this just came out of nowhere Yeah, you've just popped up on me and said You know, I've been asking you And uh, annoying you for a while Just out of nowhere, you just like Bang, you're here, let's do it Let's go, thanks for popping in yeah, thanks for having me, man. It's good to be on the show. Um, obviously, big fan. I'm a massive Biggs fan and of your music and everything you do. So, yeah, I was looking forward to coming on the show. I've been at uh, uh, my mate Bingle's birthday today. So, happy birthday to Bingle. We had Yum Char. Shout out, Bingle's word up. Yeah, that, that's about it. It's fucking freezing out here. So it's cold. It's just. Yeah, <laughs> that's the end. Right, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to hit you with a few questions because. This um, gig's not ideal. It's like an awkward lean. Yeah. I thought we would allow about 45 minutes worth of answers, but this current seat, I reckon we're about five minutes and the clock's ticking. Yeah. All right. Well, that's good. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm joking. The worthwhile interview is right. a short one. So. Um, Question, bud. Question one, um, you've been so busy in the last 18 months, you've done a huge number of really dope video clips. Shout out to Carl Allison, uh, who you've been working with. What has been the driving force behind this recent onslaught? I guess you could say, um, well, I said uh, um, in the beginning, like, you know, breaking out with my girlfriend, well, when you have a girlfriend or something like that, when, when you've got a girlfriend, you share such an intimate part of yourself with them and, like, you you so much so give everything of yourself to them that, like, if they decide for whatever reason they're going to break up with you or you're not good enough for them, it fucking makes you feel, like, inadequate. Like, how could I present, like, my whole self in its entirety to you and be like, nah, you're not good enough, I'll have to go find something else. That didn't fucking lie well with me at all, so I was just, like trying to like do as much shit as I can to feel the whole like maybe if I do well at this maybe if I do well at that if I turn it up here like you know like pretty much like did every clip just so I hope that she sees it really <laughs> nah nah no. that's not but really I thought, but, but, no, but there's a lot of like truth that. in there I know like, man because like, I do know in, you in a way like that got me going before like you know I, I was already working like hard with Musty to try and finish an album but you know linking up with Carl to try and like just rev things up a bit you know i think like after you know maybe the third or fourth clip it was it was almost like man this is just real fun hanging out with mates like i was always kind of like yeah you, you can know, catch me in the back of that banger clip i was there that was a good one that i uh, popped down to but, yeah yeah uh, it's sick that like a music video there's so many different kind of like people involved in it like i get one mate to you know maybe make a beat a couple of mates might jump on the track i've got a mate filming the clip like a couple of mates might come and jump in the clip, you know, maybe a mate might do cuts on the clip. Like it's all a big community, we all know each other. Maybe like we'll go and paint a wall all together as promo, like do a show, do the track, whatever. It's just it's just fun I guess. Get the pick up. 
to the, you know, all the things that you enjoy doing. It's not obviously just the music. Um, we don't have the skatey. I didn't uh, have it in the budget to the, bring a skatey for it. Dogs. Dogs. Anyway. The town that we, the world that we live in. <laughs> but I just want to ask you. Pieces yes, cap, ledges cap. Between like, have you know. To pay five dollars for a cap. Between doing your music, it's bro. The cap. <laughs> Let's let me get this question out. Between doing the music, the painting, the skating in particular, of your many talents, which which one, even if I didn't mention it just then, is is the one that you just go, is you go to, that you would just go do, if it's up to you and, and you don't... If it was up to me and I could be the best in the world at anything that I do, it would be skating. As I'm, I'm, that's the thing that I'm least talented at. That's just the thing that I love. Every night when I go to bed, like my way of meditating, getting my thoughts, like music can be stressful, Art can be very stressful. I care so much about my piece, and sometimes I find it hard to just enjoy the act of painting. Skating is fucking freedom, man. Like, if I could do anything, I'd be the sickest skater in the world. That would be the best life ever. Just travel around. It's so much more. It's not as complex as all the other things. It's just a board, land the trick, roll away. It's fresh. Like, and every night when I go to bed, I just I lie down and I picture the perfect part. Like, if I could do any trick. I'm just like in bed. I'm like, I've sat I there. Like kick flip, front <laughs> nose side down that rail. I know you filmed a trick about 80 yeah. times in a row, and you were still not happy with it. I remember all the that ones, one. all the spots around like Melbourne. I think like I do like a perfect kick flip, backside, blunt slide down Flinders rail, maybe like a somehow flip out. Like I just, that's what I think about every night when I go to bed. I so can't that's do the any of that I, shit. I actually had a feeling you were gonna say that. Let's do it. Question three, this is probably one of the most asked questions in hip hop recent history. Um, when is your album, Calendar Man, gonna come out? Do you know, is there any more info we can give the fans? Because I've been- Well, the album's been done for ages, but I mean, there's a few things that I have to do as an artist to- so we don't know these songs. These aren't all the video songs, no, are they? No, no. None, none of them. None of the songs that are on the Did album. Did you hear that, fans? None of the video songs are on the <laughs> album. <laughs> Fuck, the internet's gonna break. It is. Fucking hell, it is. I'm gonna slow traffic down on the dead tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, but seriously, yeah, go, go on. Sorry. I, no, I, the album's been sitting there for a while, but like, you know, um. Yeah, that's a, you know, Carl's a sick cunt. That's another thing about Carl, you know. He said to me, he goes, bro, you know, if you fucking put all this time and this work into an album and then don't do any promo work or don't create a bit of a buzz, you might as well just fucking make a dope album and go throw it off the Anderson St. Kilda Pier. Yeah. I mean, well, you've got, got a, a mad buzz going. I know you probably want it to be higher, but look, that new one with Greeley, 30,000 hits in like a few days, man, or not even a week, Yo, yeah. Greeley's fucking got heaps of fans. Yeah, but so do you, bro. Thanks to him. And, um, he can just say, like, you know, oh, having a bit of coffee, 300 likes. <laughs> He's the star. Yeah, that's cool, man. I'm well, just look. a painter, man, at the end of the day, but I paint with words, too. It sounds like a cliche, but I don't introduce myself as a rapper. It sounds lame. It does. That's a tip. If you're at a bar, once you get to around 30, Play down the fact that you're wrapped to the ladies. In fact, don't tell them at all if you want my advice. When you're 16, <laughs> yeah, true that. Keep when it a you, massive secret. When you're 16, it plays in your favour. They all want to like be a part of it, but like when you're 30, rap. Swerve. You get yeah, the swerve just keep big that time. On the DL. Say you're like an <laughs> artist. All right, now on a personal music question, you can answer this however you like, but name an album that has changed your life. Must be Beeswax. There you go. Is that the fastest end? Is that definitely, the fastest on the worth of? Definitely. And if you missed that, I believe you said bias B be beeswax. Yeah. Yeah, well, there you go. And I'm not... That's uh, like, an absolute Aussie Melbourne hip-hop classic. Yeah, that classic. definitely changed. Truly. Like, on, there's not many albums, like, I can say that changed my life. Like, changed it. But, like, probably there's no album that's changed it. As far as influenced it heavily, and I guess you could say, like pushed me in a direction Yeah, like it's a he, bit of a poetic question, you know. Yeah, he was, <laughs> that album um, was the first time that I heard Aussie rap ever, and it really like, yeah, it just, it played into the graph that we were doing so well, it was just like, that, that it was, was the soundtrack to those years, yeah? It was to our lives, yeah. Bides B Beeswax, man, like we used to Shout out Beezy, like, legend. It was either you were listening to that, or you know, or that. 
just quickly to promo your shit, where can we find you online? Um, what platforms? Um, Obviously, YouTube. Yeah, you can find me on YouTube. Another thing that I, um, I'm on a lot is YouTube. You can get me on YouTube. I'm gonna put up all your links. I know there's uh, other the shit, so. YouTube. Yeah, I'll put up the link. <laughs> uh, Tane One, thank you very much for stopping by The Worthwhile. Thanks I'm gonna let you go show. home. Peace out. I know it's a Sunday night. And uh, yeah, look, thanks again. From The Worthwhile, you do get a Worthwhile t-shirt. I forgot to bring it, but I'll, I'll give you that yes! after this. <laughs> you can use it to uh, buff like a wall that you're you know, gonna put something fresh I oh, know, I'm not gonna use it to buff a wall, I'm gonna use it to look buff, man. Haven't yeah. you seen these cannons yeah. recently? You got like? the spaghetti arms like me, that's all good. <laughs> all right, brother, I'll see you soon. Thanks for coming. Bye. Peace. Yeah. Raw chains. Yeah. Smashed on the street, 8 o'clock doing damage Pulling out the tin, yeah I'm frightening families Rock up to the club, I'm always carrying my baggage I'm hooking by the side, I've got to get that cabbage Ripping out my tin, yeah I'm pulling out the lighter Blow torch, yeah yeah, set it on fire Told myself this year that I'ma be a winner But I'm smashed in the club now, flying on a pinger I fuck a random chick out the back without a dinger And that's if I can even get it up and slip it in her It doesn't really matter though if I can't get it up Alright, that was dope Tane's one legend in the game <laughs> of painting and skating and musicking. So check him out if you haven't already. This is the worthwhile. Thanks again, Tanes. We out of here. Through the eyes of my camera, trying to get my stack up to finish my release. Cause these kids round town fucking fiend in my bee. Yeah. I wanna get hectic, I wanna get loose I'm gonna need zest and I'm gonna need booze 